Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Explain Maths. Now in this video, I am here with a case study question of the topic arithmetic progression and this is the previous year question and it is asked in the year 2024. So the question is cable cars at hill stations are one of the major tourist attraction. On a hill station, the length of a cable car ride from a base point to topmost point on the hill is 5000 meter. So it means here is the base point and suppose here is the top point this distance is given as 5000 meter okay now poles are installed at the equal interval you can see here the poles are installed at certain interval on the way to provide support the cables on which car moves the distance of the first pole from the base point is 200 meter so this is the base point suppose here is the first pole which is p1 this distance is 200 meter okay then after that subsequent poles are installed at equal interval of 150 meter now after that every 150 meter one pole suppose p2 again 150 meter p3 and so on further the distance of the last pole from the top is 300 meter it means if suppose here is the last pole pn this distance is 300 meter from the top top point okay so this much information is given now based on the above information answer the following question using arithmetic progression so if you see here first distance is two first pole distance is 200 second pole distance from the base point will be 200 plus 150 which is 350 meter isn't it see what i am telling the first pole distance from the base point is 200 for the distance of the pole 2 from base point will be 200 plus 150 which is 350. Then same way next will be uh, 500 meter distance and so on. So if you see here it is forming a AP isn't it. That common difference is 150 here also 150 and so on. Now what you have to find distance of the 10th pole from the base. It means you have to find A10. So uh, let's start finding the value of the 10th pole from the base. So distance of the 10th pole from the base. Let's first write the expression here. So first it was first pole distance is 200, then 350, then 500 and so on. So here your A is 200 and the common difference is 150, isn't it? Now what you have to find A10. A10 will be A plus N minus 1D. Means A plus N minus 1 means 10 minus 1 which is 9D. Okay. Now A is 200 plus 9 into 150. Now if you solve it you will get 200 plus. Now 9 into 150 will be 1350. And if you add it you will get 1550 meter. So distance of the 10th pole from the base is 1550 meter. Okay, so this is the first part of the question. Now moving to second question. Now next you have to find the distance between the 15th pole and 25th pole. So now try to understand here. Now suppose this here is the 15th pole and here is the 25th pole. Now you have to find the distance between this. So first what you do, you find the distance of the 25th pole from the base. Then you find the distance of the 15th pole from the base and subtract both. So you will get this distance. So first let's find A25 means distance of 25th pole, pole from the base. So it will be the formula is A plus N minus 1D which will give you A plus 25 minus 1 is 24D. Now next find A15 distance of 15th pole from the base again the formula is a plus n minus 1d which will give a plus 14d okay now what you have to find actually a 25 minus a 15 this will give you the distance between the 15th pole and 25th pole so write the formula a plus 24d is for distance of 25th pole from the base and minus Distance of 15th pole from the base will be minus A minus 14D. Okay, so now A and minus A will get cancelled. 24 minus 14 will give you 10D. And 
and the difference D is 150, right? So it will come as 1500 meter. So the distance of between 15th pole and 25th pole is 1500 meter. Now moving to the third question. Now coming to the third question, it has two part. First part I am doing now. You have to find the time taken by cable car to reach 15th pole from the top. Okay, not from the base, from the top 15th pole. If it is moving at the speed of 5 meter per second and coming from top. Okay, so here let's uh, find out the arithmetic progression from the top now. Okay, so the suppose this is the top point and information it was given that the distance of the last pole from the top is at 300 meter distance. Okay, and distance between two subsequent pole is 150 meter. Okay, 150, 150 and so on. So if you have to write the arithmetic progression for this, so your A will be 300 because I'm considering from the top. So next will be 300 plus 150, which will be 450. Then again further will be 450 plus 150, which is 600 and so on. So now here your A is 300 and common difference is 150. Now why I am doing this? Because to find the time taken, you have to first know the distance because the formula for time is distance divided by speed. Speed is already given. So first you find the distance of the 15th pole from the top. Okay. So A15 formula here it will be A plus N minus 1D means 15 minus 1, 14D. Your A is 300 plus 14 into 150. Okay, so it will give 300 plus 14 into 150 will give you 2100. So it is 2400 meter. This is the distance. Time is distance divided by speed. So 2400 divided by 5. So 5 fours are 20, 480 second. Now, if I convert 480 second in minute, okay, so I will be getting 8 minute. Okay, you just divide it by 60. You will get 8 minute. So, it will take 8 minute by the cable car to reach 15th pole from the top. So, this was third question, first part. Now, I am going to do the another part also. Next is find the total number of poles installed along the entire journey. Okay, so... Now see, initially what information was given? Okay, distance of the base point to the top point was given as 5000 meter, isn't it? And it was given the last pole, it is 300 meter, it is at a distance of 300 meter from the top. It means your pole is still this from the top, isn't it? So, 5000 minus 300 will be 4700 meter. This is your total distance. In this distance only you have pole. Now, to find the number of poles, okay, it means you have to find the value of n. You already know your a is 200. The first pole is it, it is at the distance of 200 meter. Okay, common difference, you know, it is 150 meter. Now, sorry, only 150 Common difference is 150. Now, uh, you have to do, find the value of n. So, the formula we will apply here, a n equal to a plus n minus 1d. Your a n is 4700, which is equal to 200 plus n minus 1 into 150. Now, transpose this to here. So, 4700 minus 200 will give you 4500 equal to n minus 1 times 150. Now, transpose 150 to LHS. It is Here it is multiplication. So, if it will come to LHS, it will become division. Isn't it? Don't start multiplying with n and minus 1. It will become more difficult. So, now 15 times I got the answer is 30. So, 30 is equal to n minus 1. It means n will be 30 plus 1, which is equal to 31. Okay. Now, in the question, it was already given. You have to solve using arithmetic progression. Okay. There is other way also to solve it. You already know the distance. You all know that the poles are at equal distance. Don't divide the distance with a uh, equal interval. Okay. Like that also, you will get your answer. But in the question, it is says that you have to solve it using arithmetic progression. So, I have used that method only. Okay, 
so this was about the case study question please like share and subscribe to my channel such that i will be keep on posting some new new case study questions with detailed explanation that's all for today's class thank you